This is William Hall with Resist the Mainstream. Quick reminder to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you get notified when our videos go live. So let's go ahead and jump right into this story here. If you have an iPhone and you often are taking pictures on that iPhone, make sure that you are actually ready to back those pictures up, save those pictures in another location, because very soon a portion of how the iPhone and Apple decides to save your pictures is going to be changing. So this is all dealing with a service that has been offered by Apple since 2011 that's actually dealing with the photo album on the iPhone. So it's called My Photo Stream. Many of you may or may not be aware of this, but basically it's a very old way of being able to back up photos. So for example, if you had an iPhone and you had a Mac or something like that, or maybe even an iPad, you were able to basically take a photo on your phone and it automatically got uploaded to those other devices. The idea being that that way you could effectively see it very easily and quickly. But this new type of technology that we've, or really not necessarily a new technology, but a technology that has been around a long time that has become very popular over the last five years, it's called the cloud, which is effectively just a much easier way to back up your data, your photos, and it's way faster, way more effective. And obviously Apple offers their own cloud service called iCloud. Well, that's basically taking over this whole My Photo Stream service that they offered in the past. So you could normally store up to around 1,000 photos in this My Photo Stream for about 30 days, and then they were automatically deleted from that anyways. But now they're actually moving this over and lumping this in. The reason why this is happening is quite simple. They're trying to homogenize everything. They want this to be a much more simplistic process, as many other services are doing as well. And the problem is that you don't want everything operating separately. The idea is that if you want to say store more photos or more videos or something, they want you to move to iCloud. That way they can charge you, right? That makes things a lot easier when that's the case. But you will no longer be able to do this and use the service in just a few days and users are being advised to save any photos that they may have as it is soon to be deleted. So that whole entire backup is deleting. Now, what this does mean is that if you have photos that are on your phone, they're not going to just disappear all of a sudden. What this is talking about specifically is the My Photo Stream that's going to be leaving. So if you were accessing photos through this service, then make sure that those are backed up on the iCloud instead of on this. So this will be shutting down on July 26th. And, uh, you know, obviously Apple did not provide a reason for the uh, taking down the services. But as I mentioned before, it's pretty simple to kind of assume. It's just to make sure that everything is consistent across the board, that everybody's using the same services. So the California-based company added that a that the new photo uploads will stop on June 26th, and then Apple then provided a statement saying um, there will be no photos remaining in my photo stream by that time. So my photo stream is a separate service from iCloud Photos, as I mentioned before, and moving forward, iCloud Photos is what they're going to want you to be using. If you already have iCloud Photos enabled on all your devices, you don't really need to do anything else. Your photos are already uploaded and stored to iCloud. So this is really just for those people that are probably kind of still use it. Maybe they have an older phone or something like that, or just haven't migrated to iCloud. I mean, pretty much right now, it's almost impossible not to, because the second that you set the phone up, it's pretty much leading you to set it up automatically. You also get like five gigs free by even starting that off. So there's really no point in using this unless you just were kind of grandfathered in and just kept using it and in turn basically refused to use iCloud as a result of this. So then they advise that the uh, that basically once you want to actually save these photos, for example, uh, that are being kept on My Photo Stream, you just need to open up Photos and then tap the Album section, and then you're advised to tap the My Photo Stream and click Select. After that, users should be able to tap the photos um, that they want to save and tap the Share button and then save the image. So that's all you have to do. Pretty simple, straightforward process there. But uh, once again, this is already something that has been on many devices for a very long time. Like I said, it's been going on for about 12 years. It's old. And now they're trying to move people to a much more updated system to allow for all of this to get a lot better. So you can also turn iCloud photos as long as you have an iOS version of 8.3 or later or an iPad version of 8.3 or later as well. And of course, any of the Macs will work on that as well. And of course, after that, you can view your photos in the Photos app on the iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple TV, iCloud, of course, and even on Windows PC because even that has iCloud. So it just makes a lot more sense for that. Um, and if you want to say, for example, 50 gigs, even for storage, it's about 99 cents to actually do that. So that's basically just the story here. It's just an idea of just giving you guys a heads up 
on the situation that's happening with that so your photos don't randomly disappear that you may have thought were backed up that maybe you didn't think you were even using iCloud when the reality is, is that uh, it is a pretty much free service, at least for five gigs and decent amount of space there, um, to actually use that and, and go ahead and have that available to you. So if you are using this older system, make sure you have your photos backed up and go from there. Let us know down in the comments, which one are you using? Are you using the uh, My Photo Stream? iCloud, do you not care? Do you, does it not even matter to you at all? Let us know down uh, below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on it. But with that being said, we thank you for watching this video and we'll catch you on the next one.